Hello everyone, welcome back to Mountaineer Firearms. Um, had some of you guys asking me lately when I'm going to show a Glock on the channel. So I just thought today might be finally the day that we get some Glock out and have some fun. And since this is our first Glock on the channel, I decided it would be appropriate to bring out the Glock P80. This is uh, Glock's retro version of the original Glock, first one they made for the Austrian Army. It is 9mm. This is pretty much just a Glock 17. That's what they were called when they hit the civilian market. But this was called the P80. In 1980, the Austrian Army decided that they needed to replace their old P38s that they've been using for a long time. And so they put out for contracts for people to make a new pistol for their army for their military and gaston glock he uh never made any guns before he wasn't really a gun guy he made mold injected parts and things he was a big pioneer with polymers and worked on vacuum cleaner parts and things like that but he decided that he could make a gun and this is pretty much what he come up with this is what he designed in 1981 and in 82 it was adopted by the austrian army and they called it the glock p80 and that's why glock has put p80 on there now instead of just glock 17 but this is just a simple glock 17 what would have been what they looked like when they very first came out and i've got some 17 round magazines original glock well these aren't the originals uh, this new version comes with gem 4 style magazines that'll work ambidextrous and everything like that so it uses new magazines and we'll just put 17 rounds in there chamber one see how this old glock shoots Glock 17, nine millimeter. And this is a, just a retro version of the first ones that came about. And, we'll clear. and this is a very nice shooter. The grip is the original style. This would be pretty much a Gem 1 Glock 17. Has the old original Glock sights, which they still come with them sights on them today and uh has kind of the it's not the original finish they called tenifer or whatever but it looks similar and pretty close to it it's like a gray old school glock finish um some of the differences it's just built like a gem one but if you uh was to look on the internet today and look at prices of old original gem ones you'll find that they're very very expensive so it's a good thing that Glock come out with these, I think. Uh, Lipsy's is a distributor that worked with Glock and ordered these. And one of them made kind of like the old original P80s. It has a smooth, flat trigger like the old ones did. And it has what they called the pebble on the grip. And it's kind of smooth. And a lot of people don't like that. Say it's not enough texture or whatever. But I actually kind of like it. I think it feels pretty good i don't need a whole lot of texture necessarily i just like for the grip to feel good and be able to grip it well and firm um so that don't really bother me too much but a lot of people don't like that it's kind of slick and it has the old original style small little magazine ejector there and everything else is original except for you'll notice it only has one pin where most of the new ones have two pins um, after a while, when they come out with the 40 caliber, they ended up adding another pin in that b block there. And just to make manufacturing simple, all frames ended up having the two pin system. But these old originals just have one pin. And I keep calling this an old original, but this is a brand new gun that's just, just came out. And since it's debuted in 1982 originally, this is 2022. So, 
by my math, that's about 40 years Glock has been about. It's been out here owning the world of polymer guns, in my opinion. Um, when I first was introduced to Glocks, I thought they were ugly, and technically, they still are. But once you learn how they work and how reliable they are and different things like that, you kind of understand that the beauty lies within the design, and it is just a slick... Everything's so slick on a Glock. Everything just works so good. They just don't even, they don't malfunction necessarily. I'm, I know I'm a Glock fanboy, but I really like them and I like shooting. Those are fun. They shoot a lot. Really well. 17 round mags. And you'll notice that that magazine dropped out of there. That's something that the old originals didn't necessarily do. So they kind of used the new style Gen 4s that are steel lined and everything. So that the magazines work like the old ones. They drop out. Or the new ones, I mean. So, yeah. And, uh. They're just an old cool Glock, something that they came out with that a lot of guys would like to have a Gen 1, but don't want to spend upwards of a thousand or even two thousand dollars for one. So these are the price of a normal everyday Glock, whether it's a Gen 4, Gen 5, Glock 17, whatever. You could pick this if you wanted instead of a Gen 4 or a Gen 5. And this is pretty much just a Gen 1. And you could adopt a uh, do adaptations to it, personalize it as you want. This would be a great gun to build off of if you wanted to do one of those little Glock builds like people love doing. But uh, we'll show you the takedown. It's the same, always has been. You just make sure you fire it, pull the trigger back, and make sure your chamber's empty. And then you just pull both of these on the sides at the same time. There's one on each side. Pull those down, and the slide comes right off. And you'll see that it has the old school Gem 1 style single spring in there. And the frame and everything the same as Gem 1. And they haven't changed a whole lot on these over the years. But they just work really well. Well, what would you look there? Show that on camera. Not everybody does everything right every time. But a Glock is a wonderful gun, I think. And since we wanted to finally get one out here on the camera, we thought one of the first Glocks ever made, or reproduction of it anyway, would kind of be appropriate. These hold 17 round mags, and you can get the uh, 30 round mags, 33 round mags, and shoot in them too. Let's see if I can hit some of them little four inches. Shoots pretty good. I like a Glock really well. This just feels really good in the hand. I'm kind of a uh, Glock 19 fan and not so much on the full size 17 frame, but this is a full size service pistol size. Um, five inch barrel. It's kind of pretty much if you was to compare 1911 to this, it'll be almost identical in size. Um, these older style had a little bit more of a flatter grip there's a little bit wider distance here and when glock reproduced these and they made the molds again to make these the same as the old p80s they had to reproduce the molds one difference is you'll see that the serial number we have to do this here in america and they wouldn't have done that in austria back on the original p80s because they don't serialize the frame like we do here in america that would have been up on the slide but uh they're just very nice guns. It handles very well. It has a, uh, one difference would be the flat ejector here, or extractor, um, where the new, like, Gen 4s, I think after Gen 2s, maybe Gen 3 and up, um, has, like, a little step in there so that it sticks out, protrudes a little bit, 
and you can feel if it's gone around in the chamber, but you can still kind of feel it on these. It sticks out, and you can kind of feel it with your finger, and you can see around in there. It kind of gives a little indicator, but it just has the old original Glock sights that I think work just fine. I haven't shot this gun a lot. I need to practice with it a little bit more, find out exactly where it shoots. So, got to do some practicing. Shoot that can. fun with a Glock. Everybody's been wanting me to get one of these on the channel here, so this will be the first one. And these are a lot of fun. And like I said, if you like a Gym 1 style, if you like that old cool looking look of the old Gym 1s, you can get one of these, which is darn near the same thing. Just new, and uh, they cost the same as any other Glock that you'll find on the shelf, I think the MSRP is somewhere around 650, something like that. Um, but they're very nice. Has that old Glock sound to the spring. Uh, I like that. So, but uh, they come in the old school Tupperware box, like the old Glocks used to come in. It's like sealed off in water, and they were made so that you could stack. I should have brought it out here so I could show it to you. And they also, the Tupperware box is stuffed into a. Uh, well, not stuffed into, but into like a presentation box. So it's something kind of cool. Uh, if you guys don't like Glocks, I'm sure you think it's probably pretty stupid for them to be making a retro model Glock. But for us Glock fanboys, I think they're pretty cool. This is a really neat little addition to the collection that you can go out and shoot and it doesn't break the bank and just have a lot of fun with it. And I do carry it on an inside the waistband holster and it's just a really nice gun to have. Let's shoot one more magazine here. See if I can't hit that little popper. Just need to practice with this a little more. There's a Glock for you. That's a Glock 17, nine millimeter, P80, retro style Glock. And these things are just absolutely wonderful. Any Glock, in my opinion, is absolutely wonderful, but you guys might not think so. But, uh, yep, we just wanted to get a Glock out here on the channel finally for you and let you take a look at one. We've got several more coming. And I got a custom Glock 19 that I really love shooting. And But these 17s, these are a great gun. It's a full-size grip, full-size frame, full-size everything. But that helps you shoot and gives you a longer sight radius. And they make a really nice gun. Lasts somebody for forever. So thank you for watching our video. And I hope you enjoyed. And make sure you subscribe and like and share. And we'll see you again another day.